Over a year ago, a lady from South East London contacted us and explained she had had her car vandalised four times. She asked us if we could help. We then visited her to find a solution, to find out who was doing it and to make sure it didn't happen again. One of the problems was Jenny's car is parked some 50 metres away from her house. So she can see it from her front door, but she just can't keep an eye on it. So we specified two cameras to do the job here. The first camera is a triple IR camera on the right hand side. And that camera is zoomed in and trained on the car to protect the car. It has lots of LED lights on it all around the lens, which automatically come on when it is low light or in darkness. And then the camera on the left is a wide angled ball camera. So if anybody tries to tamper with the camera, they'll be picked up. Also, it will protect the front door, anybody approaching the front door. It was very, very stressful for me because every time I went to go into my car, I didn't know what would have happened since the last time. I didn't know what I would find. It was very, very worrying. And I looked at all the various options and it seemed that the only real choice would be CCTV. I asked various different companies to come and give me a quote, but it seemed quite difficult to actually set up CCTV because of the setup, because of my flat being quite a long way from where the car has to be parked and my garage forecourt. One firm said to me they actually couldn't do it. It wasn't possible with the equipment that was available to <laughs> achieve what was needed. Another firm said that they thought it might be possible, but it would cost so much to achieve a good enough result. But when CCTV Camera Europe came, they immediately showed me what they could achieve. Uh, it was like a can-do attitude compared to the other companies. Professional approach, a lot of professional knowledge, but just that nice bit of personal touch so that you feel that you matter as a customer. And they did what they said. They set it up for me and got me a very good result. And so there hasn't been any further damage to my car since I had the CCTV installed. And so it's been much less stressful for me. So both cameras are neatly cabled inside to Jenny's lounge to the DVR, which is located here. This is connected to uh, Jenny's widescreen and you can see her car. If we can expand in the picture using the, the mouse control. Uh, if we double click again, we go back to both pictures. This is the camera outside her front door, which is also protects the camera that looks onto the car. And then if Jenny wants to do a playback to see if anybody's around her car, she can just click on the search menu, put in the date and the time, and press play. So now you can see there's a picture of the car uh, during the night. This is in complete darkness and it practically looks like a daytime picture. And then if we go over to the menu on the right hand side, it's got all the files where there was motion. So if we double click on one, you can see there's a car passing there. And we double click on another, you can see there's a person walking away from the car. But if anybody was around the car, we would be clearly able to recognize them. Wouldn't necessarily be able to identify them because we couldn't see their face unless they looked directly into the camera. But it achieves the objectives of protecting Jenny's car and seeing if anybody was around it. Having had you know, the installation and the after-sales service and the sort of nice mixture of professional and personal touch, I don't think I'd have any hesitation in uh, recommending them to other people.